Grade 8 Math, number 7.3a. This entire chapter 7 is about solving linear equations. Now we're going to do linear equations in the distributive property. The distributive property can be useful for solving equations. We distribute a factor to all the terms within the parentheses, then solve for the variable. So remember, we need to apply the distributive property before we isolate the variable to one side because the order of operations says to simplify expressions inside parentheses first. So remember our parentheses nest? Distributive property is this would be the number, the mother bird, and she takes turns feeding each one. She doesn't skip one. She makes sure each one gets one piece of food, okay? So if this is our equation, 3x minus 5 plus 1 equals 2 plus x, we can use the distributive property to start solving it. The first thing we do is we use a distributive property for 3 times the x and 3 times negative 5. That gives us 3x minus 15. See? We continue adding the rest of the equation. So this is our new equation right here. Now we combine the like terms. We simplify. Negative 15 plus 1 is negative 14. Now this is our equation. Now we can start using inverse operations to solve for x. So we have a positive x. We can take away x from each side. That creates a zero pair here. And they cancel out. 3x take away x is a 2x. And now our equation is 2x minus 14 equals 2. Now we can add 14 to both sides. Because this is a minus 14, we can plus 14. That's going to get rid of this and create a zero pair. Now our equation says 2x equals 16. Because 2x is a multiplication problem, we can use division to isolate x. 2 over 2 creates a 1. There's our friend, the invisible 1. We have 1x one equals 8. See? Let's try it again. This time, it's going to be on the right side of the equation. So we've got 5 minus 7k equals negative 4k plus 1 minus 3. So the first thing we do is we distribute this negative 4 to the k and distribute the negative 4 to the positive 1. That's going to give us negative 4k minus 4. Now we can simplify and combine the like terms. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. So now this is our equation. 5 minus 7k equals negative 4k minus 7. Now we can start using those inverse operations, can't we? So we've got a negative 4k. We can add 4k. It's going to create a zero pair here, and that's going to be canceled off. We can add the 4k here, and a negative 7 plus 4 gives us a negative 3k. Now that's our equation. So now what we can do is take away 5 from each side to get rid of this 5. Positive 5 minus 5 creates a 0 pair. Now our equation says negative 3k equals negative 12. See? Negative 7 take away 5 is negative 12. Because this is a multiplication problem, we can divide as the inverse to isolate the k. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 creates a 1. Negative 12 divided by negative 3, two negatives, that gets us a positive. k equals 4. See? Now there's one other thing that I want to show you with the distributive property. And it has to do with our friend, the invisible 1. Okay? So, let's say this is our equation. We've got 7 minus, and there's nothing here. It's just a, a minus sign, and then we have parentheses. Well, actually, there is something there. If you saw the grade 7 math video, number 6.2b, about invisible 1, I mentioned this in there. There's actually an invisible 1 right here in front of this parentheses. When there's an operation sign next to parentheses, there's our friend, the invisible 1. And he can be distributed to each of the numbers the terms inside the parentheses. See? So our friend the invisible one, it's negative one times two a and negative one times positive three. 
So we get a negative 2a and a negative 3 out of it. So now our equation says 7 minus 2a minus 3 equals 12. Well, we can subtract this 3. I mean, we can add this th 3 to, to this negative 3 and add it to the 12 on each side of the equal sign, and that'll get rid of that negative 3. And now that'll become a 15. Now we've got 7 minus 2a equals 15. There's a positive 7. We could subtract 7 and make this a zero pair and get rid of it. But then we've got to subtract 7 from the 15, so now he's an 8. Now our equation says negative 2a equals 8. So because this is multiplication, this 2a, it's 2 times a, we can divide both sides by negative 2. There's our friend the zero, I mean the, the, the invisible 1. So we got 1a, and 8 divided by negative 2 gives us a negative 4. See? So if you haven't seen this video about the invisible 1, you might want to go back and watch it really quick. It's not a very long video. But that invisible 1 shows up in a lot of places, especially right in front of parentheses when you just see an operation sign like this. It could say plus, it could say minus, and he needs to be distributed to each term inside the parentheses, okay? And that can mess you up. You could end up getting a wrong answer because of you're not thinking about that invisible one, all right? Okay, I hope this was helpful. We're going to continue talking about the distributive property in the next video, 7.3b. We're going to talk about when there's the distributive property on both sides of the equation, okay? I'll see you there. Bye.